right -o. let's go meet our our new acquaintance. How's it going, man? J.C. Denton, I will take you to Everett, but you will be forbidden to learn the way yourself. That will be quite a trick. You will not be armed in any way. Yeah, whatever. Do what you must. Step a little closer. See, no inconvenience whatsoever. Everett must be paranoid. We all are. The Illuminati is getting a taste of its own medicine. Has he made any progress on the Grey Death Virus? Your uplink provided the missing encryption key. He has been able to complete the work that Tresor Tong began. I must see him at once. He is downstairs in the lab. Now keep that in mind, the whole incredible veil of secrecy thing. It would be rather serendipitous if Bob Page invented something Everett could not figure out. No? We have never failed to decipher Majestic 12's plans. Stopping them, however, has been another matter. Uh -huh. Everett thinks you can help us. I hope he's right. Me too. You will be heading back to America, if I understand correctly. All right. Let's see here. We obviously have places where we can go and places where we can't go. It's good news for everyone. And of course, down here is the point at which we came in. We can't even look at that door at all. Hmm. Do not get injected of this shit over the world. Do not be deceived. I'll try not to be. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. We have a key here for the aquarium hatch. We have a med kit there. We have an unlocked here, which reveals this. For which we do not have a key. However, I do still have... What, what am I doing? Ah, well, I do really I do have plenty of pigs. It's not a big deal. Could've just blown up the damn thing. Yeah. What kind of secrets is a Morgan Everett hiding of Everett Enterprises? Let's go find out. Turn off these nasty little cameras here. Got an exploration bonus. Beth, feel free to visit with Morpheus while on the way. The code is 8001. I'm sure you have many interesting things to discuss and pay no attention to Lucius. He complains of the slightest provocation. Lucius, huh? Well, I really don't like talking with old people, but follow me intrigued. What are you doing back here? Denton, right? Yeah. You're al alive in that thing? I am conscious. Tell Everett I am cold. He keeps me so cold. Who are you? Do you mind if I ask? The Supreme Enlightened. The leader of the Illuminati. I thought Everett was a leader. I am the leader. I brought the Illuminati up through the 20th century to the height of their power. I had presidents and premiers eating out of my hand. I am the one. Our decline is the result of my own. All we need is for me to get back on my feet. What what did Everett tell you? Nothing. I merely await certain technologies. Then I will be restored. Everett has sworn it. Right. So yes, Lucius De Beers. The true leader of the Illuminati. He'll 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 be released once certain technologies have been researched. You sure. missed dinner, but help yourself to a snack. Thank you. Maybe I'll do that. Let's go putter around here. We'll go downstairs. Say hello. See what's happening. Hello, repair bot. I have plenty of energy, unfortunately. So you aren't as useful for me as you otherwise could be. We've got a prod charger and another prod charger. Oh boy. My favorite. 
go peek our heads up here. There's Morgan Everett himself in the flesh, so to speak. Just figured I'd peek in, say hi. Flickering light back there. Got ourselves an aquarium here. You can swim around in there for a little bit of an experience point bonus. Not that I much care. Let's go back this way. Oh, hello there. Good news, huh? Looks like we might pull this thing off. Alex, what are you doing here? Tong sent me. He wanted me to help with the decryption. Looks like Everett has it all figured out. Listen quickly. Tong doesn't trust the Illuminati. He sent me here to keep an eye on Everett. I see. How about the triads? Is the truth going to hold? Last I heard, but I guess we have other things to worry about now, huh? I'll keep you in touch through your info link. I'll try my best to keep you informed. Yes, do exactly that. Keep me informed. Yes, do exactly that. You won't be hearing from Tong for a while. He had to leave Hong Kong. Why? The triads? He said he had some business to take care of. I don't know. He didn't look so good. Uh-oh. Sick? Either that or something was bothering him. The last thing he said to me, it was something about all the machines in his lab being useless. And then he cut off the connection. Useless for what? It was just an outburst. I don't know, but he wants me to wait here for instructions. JC, Tong is serious about Everett. He wants you to be careful. I'll keep it in mind. While you're in the air, I guess I'll be helping Everett prepare Daedalus for the attack. I hope he knows what he's doing. Yeah. The Echelon kernel was designed almost exclusively for collecting data, so we have to add functionality for memory wipes, thread termination, that kind of thing. I'm sure. It's not often you get to construct a software worm that might do some good for the world. I know, right? Everett and Tong will need some control of the network if they're ever going to come out of hiding. Indeed. Good luck at Vandenberg. Thank you. What's going on here? Any sort of secrets I can learn? All the viewers at home can enjoy. Place the nano-organic material that we received today in suspension until you have an opportunity to perform analysis. The codes are 2384 and 6426. I'm not going to remember those. Who am I kidding? Anyway, I'll take that. You can keep your EMP grenade. No, don't have any problem there. Another bioelectric cell. Toby, I'm afraid I'll be in the lab for quite a while concentrating on this most interesting new development. If you need access to the security system, this week's code is Pynchon. We should be especially wary now this recent turn of events. I imagine Bobby is feeling the first signs of apprehension. He tends to overreact when that happens. Bobby, of course, is referring to uh, Bob Page. And if Lucius continues to complain, you may access his life support with the same password to the central computer. Oh, please don't raise the temperature more than a degree, as I don't want him thawing out. Lucius. <laughs> Anyway, through here, we got some experience points, which are always nice. We got a book here, Project Morpheus. Morpheus has been moody of late, and I have so far been unable to determine the proximate cause of this change of behavior. This is a problem with invariable systems at arbitrary levels of sophistication. Minute perturbations become unquantifiable. Is personality nothing more than a tidal change in a nonlinear system? And if so, what is the moon? What force shapes these tides? Morpheus could tell me if only Mor Morpheus could model its own behavior, but this would require a system orders of magnitude more complex to execute a sim simulation of its own identity. I may result to a full battery of input analysis tests to be compared against previous baseline tests, but I find myself strangely reluctant to do so. At this level of development, Morpheus could be cognizant enough to find the experience unpleasant. I do not know why that word occurs to me, as it anthropomorphizes what is obviously not human, but we not but what may not so obviously be alive. More than ever. We have the key here to a mirror lock mechanism, along with another bioelectric cell, two plasmid clips, and Morpheus. J.C. Denton, 23 years old. No residents, no ancestors, no employer, no. How do you know who I am? I must greet each visitor with a complete summary of his file. I'm a prototype for a much larger system. What else do you know about me? Everything that can be known. Go on. Do you have proof about my ancestors? You are a planned organism, the offspring of knowledge and imagination, rather than of individuals. I'm engineered, so what? My brother and I suspected as much while we were growing up. You are carefully watched by many people. The unplanned organism is a question asked by nature and answered by death. You are another kind of question, with another kind of answer. Are you programmed to invent riddles? I am a prototype for a much larger system. No 
heuristics language developed by Dr. Everett allows me to convey the highest and most succinct tier of any pyramidal construct of knowledge. How about a report on yourself? I was a prototype for Echelon 4. My instructions are to amuse visitors with information about themselves. I don't see anything amusing about spying on people. Human beings feel pleasure when they are watched. I have recorded their smiles as I tell them who they are. Some people just don't understand the dangers of indiscriminate surveillance. The need to be observed and understood was once satisfied by God. Now, we can implement the same functionality with data mining algorithms. Electronic surveillance hardly inspires reverence. Perhaps fear and obedience, but not reverence. God and the gods were apparitions of observation, judgment, and punishment. Other sentiments toward them were secondary. No one will ever worship a software entity peering at them through a camera. The human organism always worships. First, it was the gods. Then, it was fame. The observation and judgment of others. Next, it will be the self-aware systems you have built to realize truly omnipresent observation and judgment. You underestimate humankind's love of freedom. The individual desires judgment. Without that desire, the cohesion of groups is impossible. And so is civilization. A human being created civilization, not because of a willingness, but because of a need to be assimilated into higher orders of structure and meaning. God was a dream of good government. You will soon have your God, and you will make it with your own hands. I was made to assist you. I am a prototype of a much larger system. I am a prototype of a much larger system. Right, so that's not creepy at all, and it certainly doesn't tie into real life in any way, shape, or form. This is uh, one of the reasons why Deus Ex is uh, so popular, especially as uh, the years pass and it uh, enters more and more into uh, nostalgia. Uh, the feelings that it could uh, create in other people as they experience this for the first time, particularly the game was released. And certainly Ion Storm managed a few things in their time. One of that was funding the creation of this game. <laughs> All right, let's talk with Morgan Everett. So this is where the Illuminati ended up after centuries of conspiring to rule the world. The conspiracy is about to begin again, JC, between you and me. Nicolette was wise to bring us together, wise like her mother. The most effective partnerships, like Beth's and mine, arise from mutual necessity. I came to talk about the Grey Death. Atanwe says you cracked the virus. A trivial matter. Page added nothing to the core design. However, what we need to construct is a carbonocarbon ROM module, not exactly a vaccine. Can it be done without a universal constructor? No, we need time on a UC. But I know where we might find one, and also gain access to the U.S. military networks. U.S. military? To stop Icarus from completely destroying the Daedalus AI. Daedalus is a design of mine. It replaced the old Echelon 3 network. Echelon? A surveillance system for the United Nations. So Daedalus was an MJ-12 tool and rebelled? More of a pattern matching error. It classified Majestic 12 as a terrorist group, alongside the NSF and Silhouette. And alongside the Illuminati, right? Are you sure Daedalus is your ally? What matters to us is that it opposes Majestic 12. We must help it destroy their intelligence apparatus. But that will require the military networks. I have already contacted Gary Savage of X-51. The former Area 51 scientists. Are they still camped out at the Vandenberg Air Force Base? They are close to completing a UC and have the kind of connection Daedalus will need. Sounds like my pilot and I should head to Vandenberg. Yes, I took the liberty of radioing him. Here is the key to the helipad stairway. The door is in the foyer where Atanwe revived you. Good luck. I will be in contact. By the way, Lucius De Beer says he's cold. I know. 18 degrees Celsius, to be exact. Don't you think that's a little chilly? I keep his metabolism low so he will last. He is a good advisor. A one-man think tank, so to speak. He said he's the leader of the Illuminati. A harmless fantasy. He also thinks I'm going to restore his body. You aren't? The technology has been around for decades, but he does not need to know that.
Yeah. Morgan Effort is cold. Ice cold. <laughs> right. I'm actually, uh, through over half my lockpicks here. We've also got, uh, these, uh, chambers that we read about in that message. And we can certainly open those. We also have this. We've got some modifications as well as a, uh, multi-tool. I think we'll go ahead and make use out of that. And, uh, you know how I like to make use out of things, folks? Explosives. Run, Morgan. That actually did not trigger him running. Huh, fancy that. Anyway, silly med kit. Accuracy mod goes on you. Laser mod, what the hell, we'll put that in the sniper rifle. Another multi-tool, we'll pick up the med kit again. And I suppose I'll go take a look at the codes for these. Don't forget to say hi to your friend from UNETCO, Mr. Uh, Jacobson. Already bumped into him. Very thoughtful of Tom. My own computer technician. I suppose he can help me prepare a comm link for Daedalus. What's that computer system for? The one with the blue face for an interface. Oh, nothing, nothing. Just something for passing the time and amusing guests. It has access to quite a bit of information, including information about me. An old prototype, for Daedalus, actually. It doesn't really handle surveillance in its current state. So you have your own private echelon system. Mr. Denton, your pilot is waiting. You saw a piece of Echelon 3 in Beth's chateau. We salvaged some of the hardware. Surveillance used to be daemon based Daedalus is more distributed. A blip of his code runs on every communication device on the planet. If we control communications, we can organize and the other side cannot. Lack of organization is exactly what has plagued X-51. They're great scientists, but isolated. They left Area 51 to protest Majestic 12's experiments, and that's what it amounted to, a protest. They don't even coordinate with the NSF, which is headquartered a few hundred miles to the north. You see the need for global organization. Someone has to bring these disparate groups together. X-51 has assembled excellent technology. They just need someone to help them use it. You will be my representative at Vandenberg. I will trust you to find a way to manufacture the cure. Meanwhile, I have other preparations to make. Meanwhile, I have other preparations all to right, make. Alright, good. Glad we finally got through all of that. Don't remember what's back here. I suppose this is actually the aquarium access, was it? Oh, it is. It is. Let's go ahead and swim around here, kids. Even though I had the key for this, so I didn't have to use a lockpick. Whatever. I got 50 skill points. Ooh. I wasn't planning on coming in here, but... Eh. Wasn't so bad. I mean, lockpicks were made to be used, right? Anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, speed back up. Don't you fuck with me, cat. I will kill you. You don't even know. However, I meant to take a turn that I didn't. Here we go. I also need to turn some light on in my room after this video. I can't see my keyboard. 2384 <laughs> You. Said. You. Out of my life. Augmentation upgrade canister. What augmentation do I want to upgrade? Aggressive defense system wouldn't be so bad. A lot of these wouldn't be so bad. I would like to show off the aggressive defense system in action. We still got some augmentations uh, to come, but we'll go ahead and upgrade that. 
And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what these two canisters are for anyone at home. That's EMP shield and ballistic protection. And this is uh, vision enhancement and targeting. Out of my way, cat. So, Lucius De Beers thinks he's the leader of the Illuminati. He was the former leader of the Illuminati. And, uh, you know, Morgan lets him do it that way. He uh, basically serves as a counsel for uh, Morgan Everett. Where is he? I will remember these small injustices when I am revived. I will remember. Everett has no intention of reviving you. Everett has no intention of reviving you. He must. He has been commanded. He keeps you on ice so that he can benefit from your experience. But he intends to rule the Order himself. No. No. I will not allow it. Oh? How do you plan if on stopping him? I only him? had command of my body. Yeah, if only you could do stuff. Now even Everett betrays the Illuminati. <sighs> Can no one be trusted? Young Denton, use the computer to my left. Find a way to shut me down. All I wanted was to touch the world one more time. Take one more breath of air. I will not be a prisoner. I command you. Kill me. You command me, huh? I command you. I command you. Well, you know, I am naturally biased against old people for various reasons I've expressed in videos over the years. As people have asked me. However, I am feeling particularly generous in this case, and I would like to stick a finger in Morgan Everett's eye. So, fine. Useless old man. I will give you a reprieve. It's probably because I like killing old people, or at least fantasizing about it. Uh, there you go. Uh, His world goes dark. And he is dead. What did I tell you? That was my former colleague, my friend. I know he wasn't doing very well and he was in pain, but I wanted to keep him alive. Stop messing with my equipment and get to the helicopter. Now, Morgan Everett will send a completely different transmission if you just outright kill Lucius without even speaking with Morgan Everett. You know, he'll uh, get angry, and even though he didn't have any intention of reviving Lucius. But uh, he'll still communicate with you just fine. It's block critical, after all. Let's go ahead and go. Now, it is amusing that we are in a top-secret location here. Just got refueled. Been waiting for you. Uh, no. I know. We just had a top-secret location here, and Morgan Everett was kind enough to page. Uh... Jock to come view us here. Just got refueled. Is there a problem? Just looking around. I I checked her out. She's fueled up and ready to go. Is something wrong? Huh? No, I said I checked her out. You want the thing to run, right? If you're gonna cross the ocean. Of course. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. No. Now, presumably you'd come over here because you were interested in getting a crate with a lamb. Along the way, you might end up seeing that. I fixed it right up for you. Oh, I'm sure you did. Something wrong? No. I think your friend's ready to go. Bet he is. Got a pretty cush job, huh? Absolutely. I think your friend's ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Crowbar. Now, you can talk to Morgan Everett about that, but, uh... I engage in my own brand of justice, as it were. 
Okay, right, Jack. We uh, we need to have a talk. We're gonna have to position ourselves beautifully for this. Let's get face to face here. Okay. Okay. Why did you kill Everett's mechanic? Something about that guy didn't smell right. You better double check your systems. What did he work on? The fuel system. Hmm. Now that you mention it. Wait a minute. This isn't right. What isn't? Oh my god, JC, a bomb! A bomb? It's remote controlled. Hold on. Get out of there. Just have to pull this wire. There. Relax. I disabled the detonator. We can drop the thing in the Atlantic on the way back to the States. Make a good detective, JC. Ready to get out of here? Just a minute. Don't take all night. 